All right, here we go. So this is the first time hunting with Finley and Otis. Finley doesn't mind him in general. If Otis gets up too close, he, he doesn't like it, but so far so good. Okay, Otis, let's go. This way, come on. Where are the rabbits? Where are they at? Boing, boing, boing. Where are the rabbits, bud? Over here. Otis. Otis, over here. Let's go. Where are they at? Where are the rabbits? Finley! Otis, over here! Otis, over here! Get in there! Over here! Get in there! Otis, this way! Get in there! Where are the rabbits? Where are they, bud? Get in there! You see them? No? No rabbits? Alright, come on! When you gotta cover a big field like this, if you have like four or five people, you can just make a line and work through the field, but when you're by yourself. <clears throat> All right, got my monocle here. And I wear this so that I can... Otis, over here! So I can see where he's at, because my eyes aren't that good anymore. I can hear him, he's right in that tree somewhere. Okay, this way, dude. I was hoping there would be a rabbit in this field and we kick it up. I think once... Finley sees Otis kick up a rabbit. I got Otis's e-collar on because I don't want him going and tackling my bird and the rabbit. I don't think he would hurt the bird, but he might try to grab the rabbit and we don't want that to happen. All right, he's right here. He's watching. Where's the rabbit, Otis? This is their first time hunting together, Finley and Otis, so. All right, we're gonna go over to these trees and see if he'll recall with Otis up by me. I'm pretty sure he will, because he's up high and Otis is down on the ground. I mean, they run around each other at my house all the time. If Otis is any closer than maybe that far away, he, he doesn't like it, but Otis runs around while he's on the glove all around us. And so I've made sure they had plenty of exposure to each other before I introduced them. Hey, Otis, you want a drink? Otis, come. Otis. Watch this. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Yeah, sit. You want some water? There you go. All right, hunt him up. Yeah, good boy. Finley's still in that tree. All right, come on. Okay, come on, dude. Let's go through here. Oh, there's rabbit tracks. You see them? They go right through here into these brambles. Come on, dude. Oh yeah, there's rabbit tunnels all through here. Otis, over here! <laughs> I don't think you can get in here, dude, but try. Come on, Otis, you're too big for this. Can you get in here? No. If I had some dachshunds...
we're gonna hunt this kind of this way and then over there he's still up in that tree up there I didn't want to wear my chaps today because they're making my legs hot. And of course, there's brambles all through here. Ow. Yep. These damn things, I tell you. Come on, Otis. Come on, bud. There he is right there. This is right here. <clears throat> Weight is really good. Finley, he hunts good at 980. I have him at 960 right now because I want him more focused on hunting than on Otis. Look at all these acorns in here. Look at this. Ugh. Look at all of these. Look at them all. Are you okay? Uh, you get some barbed wire? You okay? Come here, bud. Come here. Where'd you get it? Hopefully not on your ding-ding. Okay, we're gonna go across this field, see if we can kick up a rabbit. Otis, come! Get out here! Get out here! He's in a good spot. No, stay out of the mud, come! I don't want you all muddy, dog. You'll roll in it, and then you want to love on me. It's like having another helper. Anything, buddy? Come here, Otis. You want a drink? Come get a drink. Otis, come. These griffs, you gotta keep them hydrated, man. They got that wire coat. Otis, you want a drink? Here, here. You can get it. Is that good? You want some more? Nope. Look at all these rabbit trails through here. Just crazy that we can't kick one up here, buddy. I was all excited. I thought we could get Otis to kick a rabbit up for him. About the first couple of times Otis kicks up rabbits for him, he'll be like, okay, this guy's cool. You know, you want your bird to always be in position. If we flush a rabbit out that way right now, he's all the way back there, he'll never get it. So you always want your bird to move up. If you can, flush game towards them. But if they're in position and then you kick something up, it's even better. Sit. Okay, let's go. That was good. Recalled. Let's go, hunt him up. Let's go. Let's go. That was good. Recall to the reglove with Otis sitting right under him. All right. Okay, over here, bud. Yeah, that's some nice tall grass in here. Get in there. Anything? Is there anything in there? Get it. Get it, buddy. Get in there. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. All right. Man, this makes it a lot easier with a dog. <laughs> 
normally I'm like climbing through that and stomping on the underbrush and stuff trying to scare a rabbit out. So I have a master falconer who shared a kind of a rule of thumb they use. They call it the three tidbit rule. Once your bird's kind of made and hunting, don't over call them to the blood for tidbits. And she doesn't do any more than three. Finley! Yeah, he's following. Usually he's a little tighter, uh, the hawk, uh, Finley. But I think he's keeping an eye on Otis. He's still following, but just a little slower, a little further back. And that's okay, because pretty soon over time, they'll get used to each other. And I've had my... My first hawk I had like 10 years ago, and I had a GSP named Daddy. And the two of them, what do you smell, bud? The two of them would do it without me. The dog would go and point, the hawk would come in and crash the brush, and or the hawk would sit on top of some brush, and Addy would come in there blasting in and flush it out for him. Got to the point where he grabbed the rabbit, she knew not to rush in, she'd lay down about 20 feet away, and let me take care of it all. He's right there. Okay, let's hunt him up. Hunt him up. Get in there. Finley. Hunt him up. Go. No. Sit. Stay. That was good. Okay, let's go. Hunt him up. Alright. So he doesn't get a tidbit every time he comes to the glove. Random reinforcement. Let's go. Hunt him up. So today is a little less about hunting. I mean, it's hunting's important because you got to put game up for them. It's more about getting these two used to each other. Hunt them up, bud. Where are the rabbits? Where are they? The fact that he's coming to the glove with Otis sitting right underneath is great. That is doing good. Otis, uh, I have a corner in my office with a bird perch in there and uh, a baby gate around it so that he can't get too much up in the bird's business and the bird can't like get up in his business and Otis will come and kind of lay down in eyesight and that uh, my GSP puppy, Olive, she's a little more leery of that of that dog. She's, oh, Olive is just a bundle of energy. There he is right there. Here he comes. Right there. Good boy. So I'm just doing a little bit of tree thumping and a little bit of kicking up. What I'd really hoped for today, other than introducing them together, was for Otis to kick up some game for him. And then once that starts happening, he'll be like, okay, this dude's cool. He can find me game. Ah, I love being out here in the woods. Man, if I could do this all the time, that'd be awesome. Otis is having a blast. Finley's having a blast. Although he'd have more of a blast if I could put some game under him. Ah, brambles. Come on, Finley. You want a drink? Come here. Hang on. Here he comes. It's right there, other side of that pine tree. You good, bud? Okay, let's go work this field. You can tell some deer bedded down right here. So, it's kind of interesting because the deer lay the grass flat. Here he comes. He's right up there somewhere, I hear him. 
the deer lay it flat, the rabbits tunnel through it. So you can kind of see where deer have walked and where the rabbits go. Like this is all deer because it's laying over. <clears throat> the rabbits will tunnel through it because they're smaller. Come here, bud. I think he probably, he wouldn't have seen a squirrel from all the way over where he was. You okay? Whoa, 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 whoa. I know, it's okay, shh, 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 there, I know, it's okay, that got you, huh, you okay, bud, these things suck, all right, come on, it's like barbed wire, man, I tell you, I don't think he could even get anything in here, oh my gosh, this stuff's thick, All right, we're gonna start circling back this way, back towards the rig. I know this pond and I, there's a road over there. It goes pretty far away from where the rig is. We're running out of water, buddy. Here, sit. All right, so I think the battery might be getting low on this GoPro. So, you know, this is how we do it. I'm gonna take Otis back, then I'll hunt with him just a little more, and then we'll call it. He's staring out over that field, though. Come on, Finley. Sit. Sit. Now stay. 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 He wasn't feeling it that time. He's like, oh, this is too close. <clears throat> All right, Otis, over here. I don't know if he was just adjusting or if he saw something. He's staring in this tall grass over here, but I don't even think he could slam it. It's so thick, he wouldn't be able to punch through it. This way, bud, come on. All right, let's go back to the rig. Let's go back to the rig, buddy. Come on, Finley. Finley. Let's go, buddy, hunt him up. We've gotten some good flights out of him. Otis has been working really good, listening to me. Up in Idaho, where I used to live a few years ago, about three years ago, it was a little more interesting getting a dog working with a hawk. We flew a lot of Harris hawks up there on jackrabbits and cottontails. And uh, they would, we'd use a tea perch. We'd carry this long painter's stick around with us. And, uh, <coughs> and they would ride on the perch. So getting the dog and the bird working together is a little tougher because here they can just take a perch and follow tree to tree. And uh, up there you had to, I let my GSP drag along lead rope. It didn't actually surprisingly didn't get tangled up a lot and uh, and then if there was a problem I could step on it or grab it let's go this way bud yeah you good boy huh let's put him on the edge of this field again Wait up, dude. Finley! Here he comes. Good. All right, let's work this field, buddy. He's 
trying to find a perch by this field. So what we'll do, we'll swing out and then work towards him. Because if we bust one out this way, he'll never be able to catch it. Come on, bud. Okay, he's in that tree over there. Come on, bud. Let's work this field right up to him. Nothing. <laughs> 